Well, easy, even as coronavirus-related restrictions begin to lift here in Connecticut, of course, many people remain on high alert. Channel 3's Caitlin Francis talked with an infectious disease specialist about a possible vaccine. Only months into the pandemic, researchers are working hard to find a treatment, even a cure. And at Hartford HealthCare, experts are looking toward a potential vaccine. Joining us to talk more about that is Dr. Stephanie Wright, an infectious diseases specialist at Hartford Hospital. Hello, Dr. Wright. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you for asking me to join you. Yeah, of course. So can you provide us just a brief overview of the current research when it comes to a possible vaccine for COVID-19? Yes, yes. Since the um, pandemic has, has started in uh, early January, there have been 150 to 170 vaccines or so that have been uh, developed by researchers all across uh, the, the world. Um, and in fact, at least 10 of these are in clinical trials now where they, they're actually um, administering them to uh, human beings to look at whether they are producing the desired immune response that might protect against against uh, infection with the virus that uh, that causes COVID-19 um, and whether they're also safe. So there are obviously lots of different phases of development that potential vaccines must go through. Can you describe some of that for us? Sure. Um, well, there, there are the very early stages of development when they have to pick a target, um, what they're going to target to try to get a, an immune response um, in humans um, for the SARS-CoV um, uh, virus that causes COVID-19. It's, it's a protein called the spike protein. Um, and then they often uh, do trials in animals with the vaccine to see if it produces um, an immune response in animals and is safe in animals. And then they go on to clinical trials in humans if it looks like it's uh, working out well for um, in animals um, and there are phase one phase two and phase three trials in humans uh, the phase one trials are aimed at seeing if the the um, vaccine is producing the desired immune response in the human and whether it's safe and tolerated in humans the phase two trial are larger trials and they include not only um, the young healthy folks that are involved usually in the phase one trial but also um, folks that would be prime candidates for getting the vaccine, such as in the case of COVID-19, folks of all ages with underlying immune conditions and the elderly um, would be uh, important too. Um, and then once the trials, those bigger trials are done in phase two, if they go along well, then a phase three trials um, occur um, where they get the, the vaccine is given to a very large number of people, such as something like 30,000 people and they decide whether the, uh, the vaccine is effective um, and also aim to uh, determine that the vaccine is safe. Okay, and just very briefly, if you can tell me how a pandemic vaccine development would differ from traditional vaccine development. Sure. Um, overall, the pandemic vaccine uh, development is, has to be much more rapid than traditional vaccine development. Um, in traditional vaccine um, uh, development, uh, usually it takes five to ten years to produce a vaccine. Um, in uh, the case of pandemic vaccines, you don't have the luxury of time. Okay, great information there. Dr. Stephanie Wright, Infectious Diseases Specialist with Hartford Hospital. Thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it.